Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really pretty flower wreath using felt and fabric. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Hey friends, it's hot here, so I have a fan going on over here. Anyway, what you're going to need, one of these wreath frames, this is a 10 inch wire wreath frame. You can get these pretty much any craft store. You're also going to need a sheet of plastic canvas. This particular kind came from Hobby Lobby, but you can find it at pretty much any craft store and Walmart. This was 99 cents and make sure that it is the seven mesh count, okay? 14 mesh is going to be too small for you to get your zip ties through, so make sure it is the seven inch mesh. So what you want to do is cut out a circle from your plastic canvas the size of your inner ring. I just lay mine down there. I have a Sharpie marker and then I trace on the plastic canvas, okay? And then you're going to lay this down in the center. And these are some very small zip ties. I think these are the four inch zip ties. And you're just going to run it through here see one of these little holes here just run that down and then you're going to take the other end and you see how i'm just feeding it up there and then you're going to fasten it down let's see let's get this in place just tighten that down onto this ring now you're going to do that and i i usually do four spots one across and then one up and down just fasten it down in a few spots and we are going to get started on our wreath Okay, so now we have our mesh on our frame here and we are ready to start making our petals. Now for our petals, we are going to be using felt. This is just average, ordinary, everyday craft felt that you can get Walmart, craft stores, wherever. This came from Joann's, nine by 12. So basically what we're going to be doing is cutting this into a nine inch square. And because it's already nine inches wide, all we're going to do is just bend this down like so. See how your corner is going to be all nicely pressed here and just kind of fold that upwards this way. And we're going to cut along this line here. That's going to give you a perfect nine inch square. You don't have to worry about measuring this on your cutting mat or anything. Just fold it over and cut it. Don't overcomplicate it. I think sometimes people overcomplicate things just to make it look like they're doing more than what they're actually doing stop it <laughs> so now we have our square now fold your square back again make sure your corners are meeting down here this does not have to be 100 percent perfect stop feeling that everything has to be 100 percent perfect and now we're just going to cut that square lengthwise like this and it's going to give us two triangles and now these triangles are the perfect size for our petals. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cut some fabric to go inside of our petals. And for that fabric, hold on, it's over here in the floor. I got this awesome Halloween themed fabric from Joann's. They are putting out a lot of their Halloween fabric and stuff now. And this is, what's today? July 2nd. So anyway, once again, stop over complicating this. I have a marker or you can use a pen if you are using a light colored fabric and if you're afraid that a marker will bleed through then use a pen you can use some tailor's chalk but i have this piece of um, cardstock here i was scribbling a crochet pattern on the back i've got paint here where i was putting some paint and using it to on another craft and right before i throw this away i'm going to use it one more time in this craft so what we're going to do, this is cut to eight inches, okay? This is an eight inch square, eight inch by eight inch. I'm just going to lay that on my fabric and I'm going to lay this out on my big table over here, here in a minute. And I'm just going to cut out a whole bunch of squares. And by doing it this way, it just makes it so much easier for you than laying it out on your cutting mat and using your rotary cutter and repositioning and all that. Just draw out your squares and cut them all out, okay? Because if you don't have a cutting mat, then guess what? This is going to be the easiest way for you. Now, how are we going to cut this? You're probably thinking, I just hit my chimes. Um, you're probably thinking, well, fabric is going to fray. No, my friend, we're going to use pinking shears pinking shears to cut fabric if you sew then you know what pinking shears are if you don't sew pinking shears as you can see here cuts the fabric and a bunch of these little jiggy jaggies 
and it stops it from fraying, okay? We're going to be gluing this down, so I'm not too concerned about it fraying anyway, but if you are concerned about it, just use your pink and shears. Cut slowly and cut carefully. You see, I'm just cutting along the line. Super simple. So let me cut out this square, and I'll be back. Okay, so now we have this cut out, and you see the edge here? That just helps to prevent it from fraying. So now we're going to cut this in half just like we did our piece of felt. Fold it, your corner to corner. Now I'm just going to use my regular scissors for this. And we're just going to cut that in half. And once again, this is going to give us two triangles. Okay, like so. So now let's get this orange. I already have a stack over here I've made with the yellow. So now we're going to use orange. Now what you want to do is line up your bottom lines here and make sure that your points are lined up as well. Okay, now you see how this looks. You see how now our fabric is smaller than our petal, our felt petal part so that you can actually see the color around it. Now we're going to fasten this down with some glue. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I'm going to tell you if you use hot glue, if you use too much, it's going to ooze through your fabric and then you're going to have like a shiny spot where the glue is, okay? But I have this Craft Bond fabric and paper glue. This glue is a little on the thick side, but you can find fabric glue, Walmart, any craft store. And you don't need a lot of this, okay? So now that our fabric is lined up, I'm just going to bend it down. I'm just going to put a few dots here and there. You don't need a lot of glue, okay? Just a few dots here and there. And then we're just going to lay that back down and press it down. Now this glue takes about 24 hours to dry, okay? So what I've done over here, the stack that I'm working on, I have laid it under something heavy just to kind of hold it down. It's gonna help to press it flat and help our glue to get a good hold. Now I'm not too concerned with the very bottom here with putting a lot of glue on that because that's gonna be fastened down to your wreath frame, okay? So I'm not real concerned about that. Okay, so now this is what your petals will look like. I'm going to make a handful of these. I'm going to make eight of the outer ones and I don't know, maybe about six or seven for the inner ones. I don't know yet. Let me cut them all out and let me get them positioned and I can give you a better idea. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of petals made, let's go ahead and start putting them on our frame. Once again, I have my little four inch zip ties. You're just gonna go in. Now, when you bring your tail up, usually I only skip like one square between this section and this part here, okay? But these petals are pretty thick. So you are going to need a nice wide space in which to put them. So. And I can't really, you're just going to have to look at this when you're making it and judge for yourself. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just make sure, you see how I put like two squares between this, how wide that is? That's going to give you plenty of space to cram your petal down in there, okay? <laughs> so for your petal, just hold it up here at the top and take, take your little digits here. And you're just going to just gather them together, you know, like so. Okay, and now you're going to take your end and you're going to feed it through your zip tie and make sure you get all of this in there as well, okay? You just take it and feed all of that in. Take your time. And just feed all of that in there. Now, when I do stuff like this, I'll feed it in there. Now, let's take a look and let's make sure our petal looks the way we want it to look before we tighten everything down, okay? Well, this is looking pretty darn good. So now we're just going to tighten this down. Now we have all of this left down here. You can trim that off, okay? Just trim that off. And I'm going to continue to put petals around here. Now, I don't want my petals squished up right up on top of each other. I want them to still be able to flare out and look like nice uniform petals, okay? So I'm going to work on this all the way around and I'll be back. Okay, so I have so far used four sheets of felt and I have made eight petals. So now we're going to scoot down and make another row of petals. And now these petals are going to show up between the ones that we've already made. So we're going to take our zip tie. We're just going to scooch down a little bit. You see how I've cut the ends here. Just go a little bit below those ends. You don't want to come down so far that the, where's the end? 
that the point of your pedal does not cover up your wire frame, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here just in one second. I'm just barely tightening that down. And now, I've already <laughs> filmed this part, but for some reason my camera cut off. Um, so we're just making our pedals same way that we've been doing this whole time. Nothing is different, just the positioning. And then we're just gonna pull this down a little bit. Somebody's texting me. Pull it down just a little bit, okay? And you see now how that has kind of fit in between those two. And now we're gonna tighten this down and trim away the ends and trim off our little tail here on our zip tie. Just arrange your pedal here. And I'm gonna work my way all the way around again and then we're gonna start on the center. All right, friends, so this is what we have. I used four sheets of the yellow felt, four sheets of the orange felt, and for your fabric, this is roughly, I bought a yard, um, but I used roughly about half a yard, probably not even half a yard. Now, I know a lot of you ask, when you go to Walmart, you see these things called fat quarters. Is that half a yard? No, fat quarter, quarter. It's a quarter yard, okay? So if you buy those, um, you'll need to get two. You see them wrapped up. Um, I think um, I think Joann's has them too. Like the fat quarters is already wrapped up. Um, you would need two of those to make one of these, okay? So now let us start on our center. And for that, we are going to be using these strips of felt that we cut off of the big pieces a while ago when we were making our our petals. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make sure our hot glue gun is hot. It's not. I'm going to wait till the glue gun gets hot. But we're going to be basically just folding these in half long ways this way. And then we're going to be gluing that together. I believe my glue gun is hot now. I'm knocking it down. So you are just going to put some glue along this long edge here. Don't put a whole lot, okay? Why shouldn't you do that? Because if you have one big long line of glue you know the glue is kind of rigid it's, it's going to make it difficult to roll up into the shape that we need it okay so i'm just putting a little bit on each corner and then let's see we can just press that down and i'm just going to put a little bit in the center obviously don't do use hot glue or something on your cutting mat go away all right so now what you're going to do is once this has set up you're just going to start cutting your fringe. Now, don't cut all the way through, okay? You're going to leave about a quarter of an inch at the bottom there, okay? And just cut your fringe all the way across. Okay, see how I'm doing that? I'm not cutting all the way through, so let me do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so now we have a piece that looks like this. What we're going to do now is we're going to start rolling this up. So I'm going to put some of this hot glue just on the very end here. And just be careful and just start rolling it up like so. Then I'm just going to hold that in place until that glue sets up. And then you're just going to continue to roll it up all the way across to get to the very end. And now what you do is you're just going to keep making this bigger and bigger until you get it to be as big as you want it for your wreath. Okay. So I'm going to use orange. And I'm going to also use yellow. And I have a sheet of white over here. And I'm going to put an edge of white around it just to help it to stand out from the wreath just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get our wreath and see. Okay, so this is looking good. And you want your center to be big enough to cover all your zip ties, of course. So I'm just going to set that down in there. Now I'm going to use some of the yellow. And you're going to make it the exact same way that we did. And you're just going to start gluing it around your center here. You see where you left off? You're just going to put a blob of glue there. And then you're just going to wrap your yellow around it until you get as much yellow as you want. And then I'm going to move on to the white. In essence, just making it bigger and bigger. All right. And now we have made a fried egg. <laughs> now this is our center. It is all finished and the glue has set up and I'm very happy with it. Now there are two ways that you can attach this. You can just glue it directly on your wreath, which is what I'm going to do because this is going to be an indoor wreath. I'm not going to put it outside or you can take a pipe cleaner, lay your pipe cleaner across the bottom here, <coughs> excuse me, and then take your piece of felt, cut out a circle and then glue that felt to the back to hold your pipe cleaner in place. Okay, 
So now if you are concerned about this, what, what if I put it outside? Okay, as we know, what happens when you put fabric outside and it gets wet? Mildew, you can use some Scotch Guard to put on this if you want to. Or you can use like the, um, what is that stuff I use? The um, Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze from Krylon. Just spray over it, you know, just to coat it, just to protect it a little. Now this is my center and I'm just gonna glue this on. I'm gonna put glue right around the edge here, but like I said, you can use it with a pipe cleaner if you want to. So I'm just going to put this here. If you wanna glue it and you're afraid of the hot glue not holding up, back it up with some E6000. As always, if you are making anything with hot glue and you're worried about it coming apart, always, always back it up with some E6000, okay? What is that? Don't know. <laughs> All right, let's hold this up and see if I've got this somewhat centered, and I think I have. So I'm just gonna let this glue set up, and then I'm gonna take a good picture for y'all so that you can see the entire thing. So stick around after the video to see that. You've already seen it at the beginning, but I'm gonna show it to you again anyway. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the least all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.